In Carbon Democracy, you have a very interesting chapter called Mik Jihad. Uh, explain it, and especially this week on the uh, 12th anniversary of the occupation of Afghanistan. Yes, I wrote Mik Jihad initially in response to the U.S. Uh, invasion and occupation of Afghanistan, because that was the time, of course, when the U.S. declared this crusade against forms of militant and jihadist Islam. And it was a time when two people began talking about a clash of civilizations, about the West standing for enlightenment and reason and opposing itself to the forms of unreason and um, illiberal politics represented by something that was called jihad, Islamic radicalism of various forms. There's a very different history of the relationship between the U.S. and, the, uh, uh, and a variety of forms of political Islam. And um, one of the main parts of that relationship has been a strong alliance between the United States and conservative Islamic forces, such as those that are in power in Saudi Arabia and other parts of the Gulf. And I think one has to understand the reason the U.S. came to depend on anti-democratic forces to maintain the kinds of interests and positions it had in the region, to make more sense of the rise of, of, of radical Islamic forces uh, in the more recent period. Can you talk about the meeting of the Taliban in the United States? Yes. Um, uh, before uh, the attacks of 9-11, um, when the Taliban had first come to power um, uh, in Afghanistan in the previous decade, uh, the U.S. was very interested in the possibility of working with them. At that time, they were interested in the possibility of negotiating routes for pipelines. We were talking about earlier the pipelines from the, the Caspian, the Central Asian region, um, and, and interested in that. And they saw the Taliban as someone they could work with. In fact, they made the explicit reference uh, in the State Department meetings when the Taliban visited um, uh, Washington, met with Ronald Reagan. Um, and uh, uh, they came to Texas. They they came to Texas and met with um, the Bushes. Uh, met with the Bushes uh, there and um, uh, talked about um, the Taliban as being just like the Saudis. I mean, these are the kind of people we can work with because we need people who are conservative, who believe in a strict uh, application of Islamic law. This will create the kind of state um, uh, we would be interested in. So, do you think that the Afghan war was linked somehow to trying to secure access to these pipelines? Uh, not directly. Um, the, the, the other things happened in between. Um, and, uh, of course, there was a lo longer history before that of the U.S. involvement in Afghanistan and the um, uh, funding of the, the mujahideen, the variety of Islamic groups, uh, prior to the rise of the Taliban, uh, in order to uh, try and bring down a, a government that it felt was too friendly to the Soviet Union and to try and embroil the Soviet Union and conflict in the region, which it successfully did. In those days, it's um, U.S. policy. Didn't Zbigniew Brzezinski famously say, say exactly? We want to um, embroil the, the Soviets in their own Vietnam. And when um, asked what about supporting the mujahideen, he said, "What's a few riled up Muslims?" Exactly, and um, th that was the policy in, in those days. And then um, even today, of course, we see in a variety of places ar around the world, the U.S. is very happy working with um, uh, conservative Islamic forces um, uh, where they can come to power um, uh, at the expense of more progressive groups that might um, uh, threaten the kinds of interests the U.S. Have, has in the region.